Hi, I'm Dr. Vicki Dubin Master, and I'm here to talk to you about posture. So what I notice in my practice is that more and more people are in this hunched over, rolled in, and protected type of a posture. And I think this comes from way back in the caveman time when we were running away from the wild animals. And that's the stress, that's called the stress response. But we're still under stress, but we're no longer being chased by wild animals. The problem is, is that in those days, the cavemen knew how to stop and relax and calm down afterwards, but with us, we never get out of it. So we're living in a constant state of stress and it becomes a chronic problem. So this really isn't serving us and over time, we're having lots of health issues due to it. I'm seeing, it's called forward head posture. That's the, also called tech snack when people are looking at their devices constantly. And I see it in younger and younger kids and adolescents, but also um, I'm finding that everyone in general or many people are sitting and standing in this compressed type posture and it's causing carpal tunnel, migraines, uh, numbness and tingling in the arms, um, neck stiffness and it can cause degeneration of the spine over time. And that's just a few of the problems. So your head weighs between seven and 16 pounds. So if, you're, if the head like a bowling ball is like this and your body has to hold that, that's gonna cause a constant state of stress and spasm and degeneration over time. So we really have to have good, upright, relaxed and open posture. So let's start by aligning our, we'll talk about alignment of the spine with this. So we're gonna start with the chin. We're gonna push it in like so. And then we're gonna lift our chest or sternum. And I like to tell people to tap the sternum and that kind of makes you more aware of it. So that causes you to lift the sternum. Shoulders are gonna be down and back and the palms are gonna be out like that, almost opposite of what we normally do, which is like this, okay? So the palms are out shoulders down and back, chest lifted and chin in. Now the belly button's gonna come back along, the, like towards the spine. And at the same time, the pubic bone is gonna be lifted up and forward. So it's almost like zipping your pants, okay? So try, like, just do that so you can get the feel of it. Now bend your knees slightly and look at your feet and make sure both feet are facing forward, your toes are forward, and you wanna have the weight evenly distributed on all four corners of your feet. So this is it, nice, relaxed, open posture, and from the side you can see everything's aligned. The ear, the shoulder, the elbow, hip, knee, and the ankle, that little bone, the external malleolus. So from the front, we'll just quickly review this. We're gonna start at the top, chin in, sternum lifted, shoulders down and back, palms are out, belly button back, pubic bone up and forward, knees slightly bent, toes forward, and weight evenly distributed on all four corners. Thank you, have a nice one. This is Dr. Vicki Dubin Master here to show you how to do a quick posture exam for a family member or friend. And this will also allow you to know if your family member or friend would really benefit from chiropractic care. Because if there's imbalances in posture, there's probably imbalances in the spine. And that needs to get corrected for it to really be improved. So we're going to start with my friend Rachel, who's actually my daughter here, is going to be the person I'm going to check and then she can check me. So you'll get to see it twice, okay? So we'll start with Rachel. You're going to turn with your back to me. And I'm just looking to see, look straight ahead, whether her ears are even, okay? Because if there's one ear is higher than the other, that means there's a head tilt and then there's probably some compression in the nerves on this side. And the muscles get tight on that side as well. So let's see. I'm looking for ear, one ear being lower than the other. Okay. Now I'm looking at the shoulders. I'm looking to see if one shoulder is higher than the other. If there is a nerve in a subluxation, we call it, or 
a pinched nerve in the neck, it can cause one shoulder to be higher and that can make the muscles go into spasm in one side. So I'm looking for that, okay. And now I'm going down to the scapula or shoulder blades to see if they're even. I can also like put my hands here to see if one hand comes out more and that's gonna let me know if there's problem in the mid thoracic. And then I'm going down to the hips to see if one hand is higher than the other. Okay, excellent. So, and now I'm gonna tell her what I found. What did you find? Very, very slight. So it is time for your adjustment, Rachel, imbalances, but pretty good overall. You have been getting adjusted since birth, so that helps. You are almost perfect, Rachel, almost. So now I'm gonna have her check me. Again, we're gonna start my hair. It would be helpful to have my hair up, but she'll start by looking at my ear heights, the ear lobe. Mm -hmm. And she can touch my ears and I can hold, it's whatever, you have the person put their hair up. Then go to the shoulders and see which shoulder is higher than the other. It's important that the feet are straight too. That'll, you don't want the person bending a knee because then we know that that's not going to be even. Then you can go to the bottom of the shoulder blades to right here. Yeah. Or you can even touch the shoulder blade to see if one comes out more oh, than the here. other. And I do have shoulder injuries so it's going to definitely be. Mm -hmm imbalanced and then hips top of the hips and that's pretty much it so the other way we can do it is we can check the side from the side so Rachel's really helped us out by wearing these stripes on her pants but what we're looking for on the side is we're looking for the ear to be level with the shoulder to be level with the hip to be level with the knee to be level with the external malleolus, which is that little bone that pops out. So that's another way to tell if the spine's aligned. I hope this helped you. Again, if you see there's an imbalance, make sure to get your family member or friend checked and we're happy to have them come to our office here at Full Life Chiropractic in Haworth, New Jersey. See you later.